between the two. Again, in the first couple of rounds, I'll keep you reminding you who's who in case you don't know these fighters. The Filipino uh, fighter from Cebu in the Philippines is the guy with not as many tattoos on his back. He's got the long white uh, uh, socks on. He's got the blonde hair and white shoes. And Vasquez has a lot of tattoos on his back with the black shoes and kind of violet colored trunks and the balding head. So that'll keep them uh, easy for you to spot. Vasquez Jr. to the left of your screen and uh, Marvin Sansona, former 112-pound champ, moving up. And so far, Benny, the weight hasn't made any difference for him. He does look stronger in that he couldn't make the 112 and had to give up his title even though he had a draw with Alejandro Fernandez, who was forced to vacate the title on the scale. And he's awfully quick, too. In fact, I think I would give him the edge right now in quickness to Sonson as well. But again, Vasquez is the kind of guy that, again, tremendous physical shape has gone 12 rounds twice. One of them turned into a knockout against Victor Martinez in the 12th round. Don't forget, this guy, after he had the one draw against Jorge Cardenas in Mexico, he returned to fighting in Florida, and then he ran off eight straight wins. And this is 07 and 08. And, and six of those eight straight wins were by knockout. So you see Vasquez on the assault right here. Caught up with him. Yeah, you said he got careless on that. Turned his head. And Vasquez, WV2 was on him immediately. That's Wilfredo Vasquez the second. Benny likes that WV2 and so on. Vasquez coming at you slightly to the right of your screen. The southpaw just parring with that left hand. Now he loads up the big left hand, parring with his right hand, which is his jab. But you know, with Vasquez, you can't get away with that, Benny. He's not going to be able to get away with parring with him unless he's trying to set, uh, set up a power shot. When you enter the kill zone, you better be thrown against Vasquez because he's strong. So uh, Sansona might be a bit quicker in the early going here, but look at these heavy shots being landed now by Wilfredo. Yeah, he's starting to close the exits. Starting to close the exit, starting to chase down Sonsona and closing the distance. Good shots here, and this is a good round so far for Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. And they absolutely love it in Puerto Rico. Tremendous calm, tremendous confidence. Again, when you work that hard, as hard as Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. does, and they're straight right, right there by Vasquez. Got him with a good shot. A little straight left hand to the body, but that's not going to stop Vasquez. All right, the bell ends round two. That's a good Vasquez round. I get it dead even after two. The first round for Sansona was closer than the second round. I think uh, all three judges will have that in favor of Vasquez Jr. Well, I think in that first round, I thought that Sansona's speed yeah. surprised him. And he's got, it looks like a little cut underneath that uh, left eye. This is Sansona. Arvin Jugarad's going to have to go attend to although it looks like... Uh, Donita Donaire Sr. is tending to that cut. And Vasquez Jr. is down. And he's telling when he goes down below, come right over the top of it. And this is where he was starting to go ahead and close the distance. There it is, that quick right hand. But look how quick that uh, Sonsona is, though. Takes that step back just to get out of harm's way. I couldn't tell from my vantage point how serious the cut is. I didn't see a lot of blood anyway, so... And they just it just put some pressure on it. But it's not in a bad spot. No, it's no, below the eye. Exactly. All right, here we go. Round three. Scheduled for 12. At stake, the vacant WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. That's a super bantamweight uh, level as well at 122 pounds. Marvin Sonsona uh, from uh, General Santos City in the Philippines taking on Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. We're in his backyard at the Coliseo Ruben Rodriguez in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. And the Puerto Rican fans have turned out en masse to see this guy. However, Sansona starts out the round pretty good. And right back comes Vasquez Jr. And I've got a dead even, Colonel, 19-19 after two rounds. Evidently, Sansona didn't like the way things went in the round number two, and he's getting a little bit more aggressive. You hear referee Pabon say, hey, watch the heads, guys. Watch those heads. Last thing we want to see tonight is uh, head butts. And you know, when we switched to Guadalajara, Mexico yeah, yeah. for the World Championship fight down there, uh, Romero and uh, Mayo, it's going to be uh, tough because these guys have a history of headbutts. Yeah, the last five fights for Mayo have been headbutts.
right now. Sonsono with the blonde streaks in his hair, trying to close the gap with Vasquez Jr. Vasquez has shown a bit more power. Sonsono to this point, a bit quicker. He's trying to go ahead and close that distance as Vasquez. Now he's digging the body. That's what his dad was trying to get him to do in between rounds. Dig the body and come back on top. Very successful digging the body and also slipping the punches and dipping underneath the shots of Sonsona. A little bit frustrating now for Sonsona. He, you know, even though he became a 112-pound flyweight champion of the world, uh, this guy has got all kinds of world-class uh, uh, ability, uh, has Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. He's got the bloodline and he, he can fight. We've had the pleasure of doing a couple of his fights in Puerto Rico and we know that. But the key is going to be, again, two weight divisions that Sonsona's going up. And can he withstand the, this type of pressure by Vasquez? Because you look at the two body types, and Vasquez looks bigger. Well, there's the speed again by Sonsona here in round three. No, no, no. And, and uh, Pabon says, don't use your forearms to push him off. So Vasquez... Uh, Kind of hunting him down, stalking him, blasting him to the body underneath the elbow, trying to come up inside. Pabon real concerned about the heads coming together. And Vasquez knows how to tuck that head in up against the right ear of Sonsona when he comes in. See that? See that head tucked right in there? That's so he can't get at him with any inside uppercut. And, of course, you know, again, the feet always kind of clashing here. These are two wrong-footed people trying to dance. Good left hand right there by Vasquez. Vasquez wants to load up his right hand power shot. He goes to the body, comes to the uppercut, blasts to the body again. He's in great position here, but the time has run out here in round three. Another good round for Vasquez. Yeah, I'm giving that one right there. 29 28 now. I've got it scored in favor of Vasquez. said so far here go down low go down low here's some of that action you're gonna see some of the body shots hopefully here there you watch him dig to the body right there good left hook right there by Wilfredo Vasquez jr. against Sonsona got him up against that rope and again I still say that it's gonna be a left punch if Sonsona goes down it'll be a left hook by Vasquez that's going to do the job because again so Sona has a tendency to drop that right in all right here we go with round number four scheduled for 12 rounds WBO junior featherweight championship of the world coming to you from Bayamon Puerto Rico that's Vasquez junior who's won the last couple of rounds and officially on our score sheets Michael Pernick of Florida, Tom Miller, and uh, Carlos Colon will do the official scoring. Miller and Pernick from the United States, Colon from Puerto Rico. This is round four. And there's that pattern right there. Vasquez digging the left hook to the body and then coming with a straight right. And now Pebon warns uh, Vasquez about hanging on and, and letting fly. You see him drop that right hand yep. while the referee just got in the way of that camera shot, but, but he, he dropped the... Uh, he drops his hand. You're right, Benny. He's going to nail him with a left hook. And he, keeps he just got him right there. This is a tough fight right now for both guys. Sansona is aware that Vasquez Jr. has picked up the pace in the last couple of rounds. He doesn't want this thing to, you know, start sliding away from him in this early state. He's, he holds on and blasts. He's a tough kid. It is. He knows what he's doing in the ring the age of 19 so slick already but you see i think he's slowing down now though Vasquez is keeping the pressure on him and you know the heavier blows have been landed throughout the course of the first three rounds and here into the fourth that good hard right hand look at this landing shots he slide down the ropes is what he should be doing has that cut open up a little bit more as he comes back with the left hand looks like he might have a different cut benny i can't really tell no, I, I think he's still all right i think he got a pretty good mouse right there but the key here for vasquez is you got to mix it up go low there it is there, go low and then go oh, there's that straight right thought about a good powerful straight right and he hurt him it looked like a shot upstairs and then he hurt him to the body counts up to four and five 
and six and seven. He may not make it. Did he hit him in the eye? Nine and ten. This fight's all over. It's all over. He's been counted out. You must get up following any kind of blow or you will be counted out.